Okay, so on this Echo you got here, and this says, okay, right down here on the bottom, it says one gallon mix and two stroke oil. And any gas station, pretty much like a little mobile on the run, mm -hmm. definitely Home Depot, any handyman hardware stuff, they're gonna have this stuff. And so this is the concentrated two cycle oil that gets mixed with gasoline. So one gallon. And uh, so this should be 50 to one. Okay, it says add on here 2.8 ounces to uh, every one gallon of gasoline for a 50 to one mix. That's what it says right there. So this is exactly, so it's 2.8 and it's like 128 ounces in a gallon divided by 50. It's the two it's point, the right that's direction. exactly, so that's 50 to one. Okay. And so then you mix this after you're done with your true fuel, so we can use that right up. That's ready to burn right now, no mixing required. Gotcha. You can keep buying that and that's easy. Oh, Those like are just easy. a little expensive, Okay. you know? to get the keep buying the true fuel okay. or you can do it at get keep getting these and just have your dedicated one gallon can gas can okay. so that one's got straight gas in it so you don't want to use that i got another one at home i got a i took a magic marker and put two on it gotcha. for two cycle okay you know okay. for just yeah, two cycles the one the that one that's one back gallon? there that i said we could clean out we that, could use that one that's a one gallon so right here, here's where your true fuel goes in here. And this is what gets burned. This is for combustion. And then this cap, the black one, is for the bar oil. And so that lubricates the bar as this spins around this oil right here. And it's a heavy oil. It's like a 50 weight oil. Okay. And so when you go buy that stuff at Home Depot or Handyman Hardware, a little hardware store, they'll have chainsaw bar oil. Okay. Here's the bar. This is the bar of the chainsaw. Okay. And so it's the bar lubricant. There's the groove that this runs in that keeps oil in that groove through through this, you know, and it, there's a pump in there that pumps oil into the bar. Okay. okay. So once we put the oil so in we should there, be good to then go. we should be able to start it. But For now, I'll just put some 30 weight in there just okay. to show you how to get it started. Okay. And it's not gonna kill it. Okay. And there, at least there'll be some oil in it, okay. you know, but you definitely wanna get the thicker bar oil you know so it'd be something fit. so it'd right now fit. here's where the bar oil goes and just put this right in here okay so i got some in there different uh air regulations in other states now that we've got the gas in there, I'm going to squeeze this. There's nothing in there now because it's never had fuel in there before. So I'm going to squeeze this button until it fills up with gas. Then squeeze it about seven more times. There's probably instructions for this. I do it about seven times. And then this one here is the choke. And it has a little choke symbol on the uh, thing there. So you pull that off. Switch is not on the stop position. Up is on. And then... Uh, <clears throat> Okay. What I do is take my foot and put it right in here. Oh. Nice and stable. That okay. makes sense. Stabilizes it. One hand here. This is brake on. Oh, it's a brake. And that's that's the blade brake. So, so, I turn, so I take the blade. I take it off. Okay. It just helps it turn. The instruction manual might tell you to uh, leave it on for starting, which is fine. And that's probably a safe thing to do. So we'll leave it on. So okay. the blade's not going to turn. But when you rev it, it's gonna fight the brake, you know, so when you rev it and you want the chain to uh, oh. go, take that brake off. Okay. okay. And it shows you right here. Oh. Okay. Okay, brake uh -oh. off. So I'm gonna leave it on just for starting because it's gonna be at low speed. I primed it already, gonna prime a little more. Choke is out. And when the, when the engine's cold is when you need the choke, right? Okay. Yeah, so it's never been started before. So choke, switch on. I, I, I kind of, what I do is I just pull it a couple times nice and easy. I don't kill myself trying to do it. I just want to let it try to start itself. Mm -hmm. So I'll do this three times. Aww. And then, 
and if it doesn't want to do it right away then I'll squirt a couple more times and then I'll put the choke in okay maybe it's choked too much now So I'm just gonna hold off on that for a little bit. Okay. But I know I put oil in it. You do. So it should be coming out. I'm gonna put a little more in there. With this kind of thinner stuff, this 30 weight, it should be kind of coming out. Okay. And there's like no plug or anything you gotta unplug. This should just automatically be uh going to the bar. 